Good evening. What's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here checking in on this Sunday evening, end of the weekend, May 9th, 2021, about uh, 727. Lucky numbers there. PM, West Coast time here in California. Latest quake, going to be a 5.0 striking out here. Uh, looks like just south of the Fiji area, southeast of the Fiji region, Fiji Islands area. Go ahead and check out the latest information here on the USGS map showing that uh, 5.0 earthquake striking out there in the Pacific. Actually, just due east of Fiji, right around the Tonga area, Samoa, along the Tonga Trench. A little deep, not super deep, about 35 kilometers below the surface for that 5.0. Um, also, a little bit of increase in activity throughout the Indonesia area uh, over the last 24, but nothing significant. <coughs> for the most part, we've seen a uh, an uptick in activity in this little quiet zone that I've been watching for, oh, about three weeks now uh, looks like things may be ramping up here I expect uh, a couple fours and, and a little five is not uh, significant when it comes to uh, releasing pressure unless you have a bunch of them and there's not a bunch there's only a, a couple here in this region so still kind of watching this area uh, off the coast of Russia down through Japan along the Japan Trench Grill uh, Kamachata Kamachatka <laughs> Kamachatka Trench area I had to take a, a little bit closer look at that. Uh, this region right here, kind of watching this area, folks. And, and I've been mentioning that quite a bit in my update videos. So uh, that's where the uptick in activity has taken place uh, more recently. Hawaii seen a little bit of uptick on their southeast flank side. Other than that, the big island remains relatively quiet when it comes to plate tectonic earthquake activity. Kilauea volcano still remains active. Mauna Loa still watching that, although earthquake it, Earthquake activity has calmed down uh, pretty significantly uh, around the Caldera area. Uh, moving over here to the west coast out here in California. Taking a look at uh, some renewed earthquake activity along the area that we've seen oh, a couple days ago prior to that 4.7 that struck up there uh, around Lake Tahoe area. We've seen a line of earthquake activity ramping up through the coast range here along the uh, Makama uh, Fault. Uh, down through the Calaveras and Hayward Fault section. Uh, today it looks like we're seeing a little bit of increase in activity in those same general areas. Uh, so it's possible we could be seeing a little bit more aftershock uptick and more earthquake activity around the Lake Tahoe area. Uh, just today we've seen uh, oh, about three microquakes in the general region of where that uh, 4.7 struck a few nights ago. Uh, moving in down around the Ridgecrest area, kind of quiet, folks. Just a couple countable, uh, countable quakes. You can count them all right there in that line. Nothing uh, major going on. Mammoth Lakes, Long Valley Super Volcano. A little bit of action kicking up along the micro scale, micro, uh, micro area, <laughs> micro quake activity. Um, right, it looks like right outside the Long Valley Super Volcano Caldera, um, right around the Mammoth Yosemite Airport. It was just down there a couple weeks ago. It's pretty cool. Not a whole lot out there, let me tell you. Uh, if you didn't, uh, wow. I mean, there's nothing. You really can't, uh, uh, really can't describe it. Just some trees, pine trees, and uh, dirt roads, and and some mountains, and a, a big super volcano. But you would never know unless you uh, were a little bit knowledgeable about the area. Um, Nevada. Around the uh, Candelaria Hills. I checked this area out early last year. Checked out a couple ghost towns in this region. And uh, even felt a couple small earthquakes in that area of, of Nevada. Today, a little seismically increase in uh, microquake activity right over Highway 3. Uh, and just to the west here into the mountains of the Candelaria Hills. Uh, we've seen this area kicking off. Uh, pretty actively over the last year since that uh, six-pointer struck out there. I think it's been actually over a year now. Um, but still, aftershock activity continues for quite some time, uh, given a uh, uh, pretty good-sized earthquake. San Jacinto Fault area uh, kicking up a little bit. Loma Linda area, seen a 3.2, pretty deep, 16.2 kilometers for that earthquake, and a little bit of further movement along the San Andreas Fault System and the San Jacinto Fault area. Right around Long Beach, Huntington Beach area, uh, seeing some small microquake activity, 2.5, the largest uh, just off the coast there of Southern California. 
Uh, Yellowstone National Park, pretty quiet. No microquake activity, no earthquakes to report, no significant magma movement. Actually, no magma movement at all. Uh, and everything looks calm at the super volcano there in the Yellowstone National Park, Wyoming. Trimmer activity, it is, uh, what, the 9th today? I'm looking at uh, activity calming down in Oregon. Of course, over the past couple of weeks, seen some significant trimmer activity kicking off. Now things are quieting down dramatically, very dramatically, and intensifying up here to the north. So it will be interesting to watch how this progresses over the next couple days. All right, guys, have a, a beautiful evening, um, and make sure you stay safe out there. We'll chat you guys tomorrow, Monday, start of the work week. Stay safe out there.